I love it when companies take leaks into their own hands by just showing us the product, because yes, Carl Pay just showed us the Nothing Phone 1, or at least some of it before the leakers did the job. There's a new video showcasing dummies for the entire iPhone 14 lineups, and this time it's good and bad. And uh, rumors show us the 15-inch MacBook Pro could be making a comeback sooner than we thought. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, everyone meet Edgardo doing the edits. He also handles our social media, as uh, Diego is now working on something very awesome of his own. And uh, so Edgardo decided to cover with his worst dad joke ever. He'll be a pro in no time. This is Parking Now Daily. The official news today are coming later, because uh, for now, it seems Samsung has uh, some sad plans for its fan edition. Back in 2020, when they launched the first Galaxy S20 FE, it was a big deal because it was their flagship killer with great specs for the price. And we even saw the company commit to a variant each year, even if the S21 FE went a little over to January of this year. You'd assume the S22 FE would be delayed because of it, but uh, multiple sources claim that it won't get a continuation of this lineup going forward. Uh, there's no specific reason yet, but reports indicate that they were having trouble making space for another smartphone to their portfolio, and I'm sure the chip shortage has a lot to do with it given how we saw delays with the previous variant. To see that one launch just weeks before the Galaxy S22 series was just flat out weird, so I understand the possible change, but I guess the question is if you're gonna miss that phone, uh, let us know in the comments, because Listen, I think its biggest problem was just that it was too late. Moving on, let's talk about Apple for a couple of segments as uh, we get new reports about their upcoming MacBooks. Yes, even more. Remember when I said that it seems that Apple wants to make a MacBook for every screen size? Well, a new update from Ming-Chi Kuo claims that the company is planning a new 15-inch MacBook model that could launch around the second quarter of 2023 or later. On a new tweet, he even mentions that the notebook may be available with both the M2 and M2 Pro chip options. Apparently, the M2 variant would uh, be bundled with Apple's new dual-port 35-watt adapter, while the M2 Pro would be shipping with a more powerful 67-watt adapter. Guys, I'm just glad we're getting them at this point. Sadly, Quo says that he has no information about the 12-inch MacBook that we talked about last week, as German reported that Cupertino was planning uh, to launch it at the end of 2023 or early 2024. Now, speaking of German, he also talked about a new 15-inch MacBook Air a few days ago, so that could be the same device Quo is talking about. Also, it's my duty to tell you that you can pre-order the old slash new MacBook Pro M2 this Friday, but Seriously, why would you? Just wait for the air as that one gets official dates. Now, sticking to Apple, let's talk about the iPhone 14 as we get closer to the fall. If you remember, about a month ago, we got a video where Lou from Unbox Therapy got his hands on a high-quality iPhone 14 Pro Max dummy. Well, we have a new video from Apple Insider with the entire iPhone 14 series dummy showing off what we can expect. Obviously, the main difference here from the previous years is the inclusion of the 14 Max variant, which will be replacing the Mini, sadly. Then they went on to compare it to last year's phones, and uh, like in the case of Lou's video, uh, we get to see some changes when it comes to the thickness for the Pro models now that we're getting new cameras. And while we're on the topic of the cameras, a few days ago we got a new report from Quo where he said that the iPhones would bring the biggest front camera upgrade since the iPhone 11. Apparently, they'll include a new kind of autofocus in addition to a 6P lens at f1.9 aperture. Not much of a surprise uh, with these dummies, but I mean, they don't necessarily look bad. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about nothing, which is finally giving us something else with the Phone 1. Carl Pei even mentioned that with how hard it is to keep things away from leakers, he'd rather pull a Google and reveal the phone design ahead of launch. If you were thinking this phone was going to look something similar to those transparent phones or controllers from the past, well, not necessarily. In the official images shared earlier today, we got to see the transparent back, which isn't really what we thought. Yes, the wireless charging coil is here, and this is actually the only component of the device that that partially gets the transparent treatment, 
Thing is, well, the rest of the phone is covered up in white artsy material and we can see the dual camera on the top left corner. And yes, we read your comments. I agree, it looks like an iPhone 12 in every way. There are also several light strips around the camera and surrounding the coil, which I mean, should be interesting to see in real life. And just to wrap it up, we can also see the small nothing logo at the bottom, the classic volume buttons on the side, and the power button on the opposite side. As for a quick reminder of the device specifications, we're expecting a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset, 45 watt charging, and uh, the Nothing OS based on Android 12. And given the two camera modules, this clearly is more of a premium mid-ranger or flagship killer uh, than what we could expect from a high-end phone. But for today's question, let us know, I mean, I mean, what do you think? Do you like it or not? Because in my case, I do, but it'll have to be an aggressive price tag to match. And that is something that I am expecting from Carl. I like the elements. I hope that they light up the back or at least give you the option. I don't know, something unique. It's just we've had so much of a teaser over how this phone is going to change everything that I'm really wondering if a regular design is actually going to change everything unless he actually pulls it off. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me make fun of it. God, of those jokes. Really, dude, they were, they were bad. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.